Hey guys, welcome back, and now I'm about to show you the winning name for Pikachu. It's quite funny, and it suits totally. It's, it still sounds like Pikachu, and it's funny. You probably know what it's going to be like now. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I went back. The winning name was Fuck Chew. Like Fuck Chew. Fuck Chew. Well, I'm just gonna level him up now by fighting with him against the other trainers. In fact, I'm gonna get Mr. Crips to level 10 first, and then we'll get Pikachu to level 10. So. We'll start right now. So yeah, I ended up back here because Mr. Crips got poisoned and died when he only has like one XP left to level up. So I'm just healing him up. And now we're going back to Viridian Forest. Right, we're now back in Viridian Forest and I'm going to level up. Mr. Crips to level 10 with one more battle. Right, now that Mr. Crips and Squirtle are both at level 10, I can start leveling up Fuck Chew now. I'm gonna put Miss well, Fuck Chew at the front. I'm gonna put Mark so he can be next to level up to level 10. I'm just going to use the trainers to level up. Get fucked you. Hello there, bug catcher. He's probably going to send out Weedle or Caterpie. Yeah, Weedle. Ooh, fucked you leveled up a whole level just by killing a Weedle. And almost another half. Right, now Fuck Chew is going to fight Caterpie. Caterpie. Yeah, now Fuck Chew is level 5. I think, yeah, he's level 5. I'm going to have to take him back to the Pokemon Center though. Taking him back to the Pokemon Center now because he's been weakened. Right, now we need to get back on track. Training him up to level 10. So the next trainer. Just about to fight him. Sneak attack. So we just beat the next trainer and Fox Chew is now level 7. Now we're going to ooh, an item. An antidote that'll come in handy because of all these weedles. Where is the next one? Oh here he is. Bring it on, bitch! Fuck Chew is now level 8 and knows Thunder Wave as well as his Thunder Shock and his Grow. He keeps getting badly beaten up, so I'll keep I'm gonna I'll just keep taking him back here. And now we're gonna continue in the forest. Now we're back in the forest. And I'm going up to the next trainer. I have no idea where I can't remember where the next one is. 
I know where he is, I just can't remember what part of the where I'm thinking he is. You probably don't know what I mean. I know what I mean. Lol. Heard little Pokemon cry. Yeah, he's in one of these lines, like these big parts. He's either on one or left. Yeah, he must be through there. On the one on the left. Oh wait, there's one here too, I just remembered. He's just flapping under a tree. Flap, flap, flap. Hello there. He's just staring at a tree, actually. I think this one might be a bit fucked in the head. By the way, I don't know if I said, today we are going to Peter City and we are going to fight. Pokemon interrupted me there, as I was saying. Today we're going to Peter City and we're going to fight the gym leader Brock. Our first gym leader we're actually going to fight in the series actually. So I'm just going to keep continuing here just because I don't want to get interrupted while talking. Wow, we're level 9 Weedle. After fighting that last trainer, Foxy is almost level... I was gonna say Foxy is almost level 10, but now he is level 10 because of that random encounter. I'm just gonna switch out to Mark now because they're, I'm trying to keep their levels even. Doing them level 2 at a time now, that they're all equal. So now we're almost at Peter City. We're on Route 2 now. There are some cool Pokemon in that grass, but none that I want. There we are. Peter City. They're all bug catchers. Tell me about it. Yeah. So we're going to heal up. And then we're going to take on our first gym leader. The Rock. And you can probably tell what type his Pokemon are. It's all in the name. Just take away the B. This Pokemon are rock type. Get it? Because his name's Brock. Right, now I'm going to heal up. Actually, no, I mean, I'm going to buy some supplies. For fighting Brock. Buy a couple of potions. Oh, not 12. Whoa. I may as well buy some of these while I'm here. Some antidotes and par paral that paralysis heal. No, I want two of those. And unless I want to run into like 20 Zubats, or maybe 500, I'm going to buy some of these. Because the cave after this is a pain in the ass for Zubats. Right, now we're going to go and fight Brock. Because we have everything we need. We'll have Squirtle at the front of the party, and if Squirtle gets defeated, Monkey can easily take out Onyx in one hit, because Low Kick does more damage to a heavier foe. It's also fighting type, which is super effective, so it's not going to end well for Brock, And because Onyx is a very heavy Pokemon. Right, so March going to go, and then we're just going to use Bubble, knock him out. Should be a one-hit kill. Oh, close enough. Defense curl won't help you now. All right, we're going to go for a tackle, just because we can, you know. He was taken out by a normal type move. Mark is reached level 11 now. And if I remember rightly, the next Pokemon's going to be Sanshrew, yep. That should be a two hit kill. Maybe one, because it's... It depends. 
on if this one feels like dying in one hit. No, it's going to be a three hit kill actually. Maybe four because it's using defense crow. So we're just going to keep using bubble. Wait, it'll still be a three hit kill actually. Maybe not because you just use sand attack and that's going to annoy my accuracy. Nope. No, we just flattened him. I don't. I don't even need to heal Squirtle to fight Brock. This trainer's embarrassing. I think I'll level. Oh, I'll switch out to Monkey. Well, Mr. Crips, because Squirtle's level 12 now. Right, I'm gonna switch out to Mr. Crips. Because Mr. Crips can probably handle this battle. So you're here, I'm Brock. I'm Peter's gym leader. My rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon are all rock hard and have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all the rock type. Fwahaha. You're going to ch challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's the trainer's honour. That compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best. Bring it on, Brock. Our first gym leader battle, guys. Right, he's gonna send out Geodude. I could probably take him out in two hits with a low kick. Oh, this song bring, brings out two, so many. It reminds me of so many childhood memories. This is gonna be three hits, actually. Geodude's quite, got quite a lot of attack there. Right, now he's about to send out his onyx and I should, if I, if, if it's still, I might not be able to, but I should be able to take him out in one hit with a slow kick because onyx is very heavy. Come on. Oh no. Almost. If you can endure this hit, he can level up quite a lot. No, okay. Mark is going to get the XP for this fight. In fact, then I'll switch out to Pikachu. Well, fuck you. Just so we can get some XP for him. Then we're going to switch out to Mark. Brock, prepare to get burned. Well, I'm a water type, so it's not really burned, but prepare to get owned. You're about to lose to a small turtle on it. How do you feel? A small turtle called Mark just kicks your ass. Yes. Good one. Nice fight, Brock, but you don't stand a chance against water types. Thank you for the official boulder badge. So yeah, guys, we have our first boulder. We have our first badge, the boulder badge from Brock. It makes our Pokémon more powerful, apparently. We also can use Flash outside the battle. Of course, a Pokémon must use Flash, obviously. We got quite a lot of money for that fight. Take this with me. That's a rock tomb, I think. Yeah, it's a rock tomb if I remember properly. Yep, I was right. I'm not going to use it though. So yeah, thanks for watching. We got our first badge now, the boulder badge. And if you want this adventure to continue and you're enjoying my video, subscribe to Little Big Guild, me. Give the video a like for fucked you. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.